Hey folks, welcome back to uh, Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So it's been a while since uh, we messed with this tiny swarm here. And uh, I had intended to get them moved uh, over a week ago, but I just hadn't done it. I haven't been able to get in here and check them out. Uh, and we had that cold weather coming through and uh, for about a week, it's been rainy. So I uh, figured I'll just wait and uh, wait till this weekend and see if I could get it done. So uh, it's Saturday, April 23rd, I think. And uh, I wanna get in here. The thing I wanna look at is to see if uh, that comb that they they drew down themselves off a of bare frame if they've anchored that on the bottom or the sides So if they've done that it means that frame or that comb will be solid and we can move this without worry of it falling apart So uh, let's get in here and see what we find uh, this queen also needs to be marked uh, so if we find her we'll mark her blue for last year because she's a swarm queen that came from a hive uh, obviously she's not uh, this year's queen that that uh, emerged uh, from a swarm cell. She's just, she was just too far developed that early in the season. There's no way, but uh, I could be wrong, but we're gonna mark her blue anyway. So let's get in here and uh, see what we find. And uh, when we're done, I'm gonna take this uh, uh, entrance reducer that I put some uh, metal tape around the small entrance. So I'm gonna put it in just like that and they'll be blocked in and I'll ratchet strap this down and we'll move it tomorrow. So let's get in here and see what we find. Uh, these are very friendly bees. I walk by here all the time. They don't bother me. Uh, I bump into them all the time and uh, they just, they just uh, excuse me and then we go our own way. So yeah, uh, there goes one right there. They're, they're very friendly. So that's the kind of bees we like at the Jerome Bee Farm. Friendly bees that make lots of honey. So. Let's check them out. Okay, so no matter how friendly your bees are, uh, any given day, they could just go bat crap crazy on you and with no warning. So you see people all the time on YouTube uh, not wearing any gear. Uh, Cayman Reynolds even brought this up a while back. Uh, yeah, you can do it, you know, 10% of the time, they might go crazy on you, or maybe even less than that. But uh, when it happens, you want to be prepared. So I always wear jacket, gloves. So I've been feeding these. Uh, they've taken uh, one quart and I put another quart on there uh, earlier this week. And that cord is gone. So they've taken two quarts so far. We'll need to mix this some more up. And we'll take care of that after a while. They glued that down. <laughs> so the sun has set. So you just know what time of day it is. So most of the bees that are coming back are back. I'm going to go ahead and break that off. Boy, they don't want to shake off. This bee's got kung fu grip. All right. Let's see if we can find that queen. She's a nice uh, amber colored queen. Easy to spot. That's a blank and comb. It's got some old pollen in it. That's an old pollen frame from another hive. I was hoping I'd see some nectar going in up here. So our queen has moved onto this frame right here. Here she is right here. So let's get her marked. Okay. We got her in there.
Got lots of attendants in there, but uh, we'll set to work around them. Make sure you don't have another bee between her and the, the uh, screen there. I need her to flip over. There we got her lined up. Oh, it's really too dark for you to see this, I'm sorry. But, uh, there. And release her. And we'll let that dry for a little bit. We'll finish what we were doing here. We want to see that uh, frame that that they drew down from scratch. It was a blank frame. That's not it, but man, look at that. That is a brood bomb right there. Both sides. Oh, this is the frame. They built it up so much I couldn't tell. So, it's not connected on the bottom, but it is connected right there on the side. See, it it does wiggle a little bit over here, but up over here it's it's solid. So we we are good to move this thing without fear of uh, breaking that. You know, we still need to be careful. Don't go crazy, but uh, it's not so fragile that it'll just fall apart when you touch it. Now I'm gonna leave that blank one over there. Put this one in here. No, oh, we need to put the queen back in. <laughs> About forgot the queen. There we go. She's in the perfect position. Well, she went the other way. There she comes out right there, and down the hatch. Okay, we'll get this button back up, and uh, I'm not going to put that feeder on it right now. I'll put it on it there tomorrow. So, uh, after I move them, because they're not going to be able to forage. I want to have them locked in. So this is a screened bottom board and it has this insert so you can close it off. So uh, when I move them, I'll take that out so they can have some uh, ventilation. That's, uh, I'm going to strap it down just like this and, uh, and this is how we'll move it. Okay, so I'm going to wait a few more minutes for any uh, field uh, bee stragglers coming in and let them go on in. And uh, then I'll ratchet this down tight and uh, we'll get it moved. No, one just went in there. Anybody else? Uh, last call. Oh, go back. Okay, FYI, don't poke a guard bee in the mouth. They don't like that. I got two hanging out right here. And there goes the guard bee back. <laughs> you know a beekeeper cares about his bees when he waits for that one last bee that was coming at him to go back in the hive. And they're going to stay like this for a couple days. Get them loaded up.
Okay, we got them moved. It's pretty dark and a uh, successful move. We'll, uh, I'm not going to pull this uh, bottom insert out all the way. I'm just going to pull it out about a third of the way so they can get some air in there. And uh, cause it's supposed to get, you know, fairly cool, but uh, not super cold. I think they'd be okay either way, but uh, that'll help them stay warm and all that. But uh, yeah, successful move. So hive, uh, the tiny swarm has become hive number four. So, uh, hey, give me a thumbs up on the video, <laughs> even though you can't see me. And uh, we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.